Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 unbelievable things that only billionaires own. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Even for billionaires, some purchases are splurges. From skyscraper houses to priceless works of art, the world's elite buy ridiculously expensive things to fuel their passions, showcase their wealth or spend the money just because they can. Whether it's the most expensive thing they own or just the most exotic, the splurges of the world's wealthiest are always interesting. Number 10. Steve Ballmer's NBA Team, $2 billion. Microsoft's other co-founder Steve Ballmer spent close to $2 billion on acquiring NBA Team Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers were bought by Ballmer in 2014. Stephen, Anthony Ballmer is an American billionaire businessman and investor who served as the chief executive officer of Microsoft from 2000 to 2014. He is the current owner of the Los Angeles Clippers of the National Basketball Association, NBA. As of December 2020, Forbes estimates his personal wealth at $74.3 billion, ranking him the 10th richest person in the world. On March 6, 2008, Seattle Mayor Greg Nichols announced that a local ownership group involving Ballmer made a game-changing commitment to invest $150 million in cash toward a proposed $300 million renovation of Key Arena, and were ready to purchase the Seattle Supersonics from the Professional Basketball Club LLC in order to keep the team in Seattle. However, this initiative failed, and the Supersonics relocated to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, where they now play as the Oklahoma City Thunder. In June 2012, Ballmer was an investor in Chris R. Hansen's proposal to build a new arena in the Sodo neighborhood of Seattle, and bring the Supersonics back to Seattle. On January 9, 2013, Ballmer and Hansen led a group of investors in an attempt to purchase the Sacramento Kings from the Maloof family, and relocate them to Seattle for an estimated $650 million. However, this attempt also fell through. Following the Donald Sterling scandal in May 2014, Ballmer was the highest bidder in an attempt to purchase the Los Angeles Clippers for a reported price of $2 billion, which is the second highest bid for a sports franchise in North American sports history after the $2.15 billion sale of the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2012. After a California court confirmed the authority of Shelley Sterling to sell the team, it was officially announced on August 12, 2014, that Ballmer would become the Los Angeles Clippers owner. On September 25, 2014, Ballmer said he would bar the team from using Apple products such as iPads and replace them with Microsoft products. It has been reported that he had previously also barred his family from using iPhones. In March 2020, Ballmer agreed to buy the forum in Inglewood, California. Number 9. Michael Dell and the most expensive apartment in New York, $100 million. Dell founder Michael Dell paid over $100 million for the 10,923-square apartment in New York. At that time, it was reported that no other house in New York had surpassed the cost of $100 million. Michael Dell paid a record $100.47 million for a penthouse on Manhattan's Billionaires Row, making it the most expensive home ever sold in New York City. The Dell Technologies founder and CEO purchased the duplex in 2014, two sources familiar with the deal told the Wall Street Journal. The tech billionaire's new property boasts six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and 10,923 square feet inside the 157 skyscraper on West 57th Street, south of Central Park. No other purchase in New York City has ever surpassed the $100 million mark. Although the sale of the luxurious penthouse was previously reported, the identity of the buyer has, until now remained unknown. Dell's property portfolio includes, a penthouse the Four Seasons private residences in Boston, purchased last year, which had listed for $40 million, a $10.9 million condo in Boston's Millennium Tower, and a large property on the Kona coast of Hawaii, known as the Raptor Residence, according to CNBC. Number 8. Sergey Brin and his Supiot, $80 million. Like the other co-founder of Google, Sergey Brin too spent an extravagant sum on a luxury yacht. Called the Dragonfly, Brin brought this Supiot in 2011 for $80 million. At one point, this was the world's fastest Supiot, and has an open-air cinema among other facilities on board. The yacht was built by Silver Yachts. She was built as a speculation project. The yacht was delivered in 2009, in 2011 she was purchased by Brin. Interior the Dragonfly yacht can accommodate 14 guests and a crew of 16. She is not available for yacht charter. Specifications The yacht is designed by Espanino. She is powered by two MTU engines. 
These bring her a top speed of 27 knots. The yacht has a range of 4,500 at 18 knots. The yacht is famous for providing aid to the local people of Vanuatu after the damage of Cyclone Pam in 2015. Number 7. Bill Gates and the Scriptures of Leonardo da Vinci, $30 million. Microsoft's co-founder Bill Gates spent close to $30 million in 1994 to acquire a 72-page manuscript of da Vinci. It is said that da Vinci wrote it in the early 16th century, and has full of diagrams, writings and sketches. Number 6. Larry Page and his luxury yacht, $45 million. Google's co-founder Larry Page shelled out close to $45 million on Sense's luxury yacht. The yacht has a helipad, 10 luxurious suites, jet skis among other things. Page bought this yacht sometime in 2011, Google's billionaire co-founder Larry Page just bought a $45 million superyacht called Census from a New Zealand businessman named Sir Douglas Myers. The stylish 194 FT, Expedition Superyacht was designed by Kush Yachts and built back in 1999 at Germany's Schwier's Yard with a refit in 2010. The Superyacht features interiors by design genius Philippe Stark with accommodation for 10 guests and 14 crew over 6 decks. Split-level decks provide open and shaded sun lounging areas, secluded side pods, sheltered outdoor dining and informal seating areas. There's an airy and light gymnasium and a private beach club, complete with a jacuzzi pool and vast sunbeds, all with Stark's signature flair. The centerpiece of the vessel is a spacious owner's suite with dressing room which spans the full beam of the yacht, senses has a helipad, and is equipped to carry a variety of toys and tenders. With twin 1,600 horsepower Deutz diesels she has a maximum speed of 15 knots, a cruising speed of 11 knots, and a range of 6,500 nautical miles at cruising speed. Number 5. Mark Zuckerberg and two 700-acre properties, $100 million. While Facebook's CEO is well-known philanthropist, he did spend close to $100 million on two properties in Kauai's North Shore area, according to Forbes. The billionaire bought two properties, one 393-acre beach property, and another 357-acre sugarcane plantation, in 2014. Number 4. Carlos Slim and his Museum of Artworks, $800 million. Collecting art is the favorite hobby of the nouveau riche as well as the old timers. But Mexican telecom magnate took it to another level. He spent close $800 million on a museum to showcase over 65,000 of the collection of artworks he owns. Number 3. Elon Musk and his James Bond submarine car, $1 million. Tesla founder and CEO is known for his eccentricities. One of his most bizarre purchase was the Lotus Esprit submarine car that was used in the classic Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. Musk forked up close to $1 million to acquire the car. Elon Musk's preoccupation with submarines and burrowing underground is well known. The man has put a lot of time and effort into his plans for a subterranean Los Angeles car tube and, of course, there was the whole Thai football team cave rescue palaver. When you think of that incredible story, what do you think of? That photo of the team huddled on a rock, yep, and the bravery and skill of the divers who found them, sure. But you probably first imagine Elon standing in his galoshes, knee-deep in the surf, his disregarded robot submarine beeping sadly by his side, asking why he had been programmed to feel disappointment. Poor fella. It turns out that Musk's submariner fantasies go a lot deeper than that one aborted mission though. He told Tesla's annual shareholders meeting in Mountain View, California, that the company has designs for an aquatic car which could run on the road, and then transition to continue either on or under the water, a product inspired by James Bond's mighty morphing Lotus Esprit. Number 2. Larry Ellison and his Hawaii Island, $300 million. The founder of Oracle in 2012 spent close to $300 billion to buy the Lanai Island in Hawaii. The island is home to two Four Seasons resorts and is spread over 90,000 acres. Lanai is a roughly apostrophe-shaped island with a width of 18 miles, 29 kilometers, in the longest direction. The land area is 140.5 square miles, 364 square kilometers, making it the 42nd largest island in the United States. It is separated from the island of Molokai by the Kalohi Channel to the north, and from Maui by the Auau Channel to the east. The United States Census Bureau defines Lanai as Census Tract 316 of Maui County. Its total population shrank from 3,193 as of the 2000 census to 3,131 as of 2010. 
Many of the island's landmarks are accessible only by dirt roads, that require a four-wheel drive vehicle, there is one school, Lanai High, and elementary school, serving the entire island from kindergarten through 12th grade. There is also one hospital, Lanai Community Hospital, with 24 beds, and a community health center providing primary care, dental, behavioral health and selected specialty services in Lanai City. There are no traffic lights on the island. Number 1. Makesh Ambani and his sprawling home, $1 billion. India's richest man also lives in one of the most famous addresses in the country. His house, Antilla, was built at an estimated cost of $1 billion. Its 27-story structure that is spread over 400,000 square foot, and has three helipads, a ballroom, six underground parking levels and nine elevators. What do you think of our list? Which of the following top 10 unbelievable things that only billionaire owns shocked you the most? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.